Now we're home from the trip with no meat to show for it. And obviously that makes doing a wild game cooking segment a little bit difficult. But luckily I was able to save the day and finally get my aim in and harvest some small game species pretty close to home. The humble here is usually looked past as a prime table meat in New Zealand and I've actually never tried it before, so I'm hoping it works out. Today I'm going to be making a hair ragu with pappardelle pasta. First up by preparing your vegetables. Cut a brown onion into large chunky pieces, quarter your mushrooms and roughly slice your garlic. Don't chop the vegetables too finely or they'll break down when being slow cooked. Next, season your meat generously with salt and pepper. And in a large pan or pot, heat some olive oil, then brown your meat evenly. This step builds depth and caramelizes the exterior, giving your dish a richer flavor. Remove the meat from the pan, add your onions, garlic, mushrooms, bay leaves and thyme, fry until the onion is translucent. Add a good splash of red wine to the pan to deglaze, simmer this until the alcohol is cooked off. We're going to use a pressure cooker, but you can do this recipe in a slow cooker too. Add your browned hair meat and the contents of your pan into the pressure cooker's pot. Then add a can of chopped tomatoes and a good helping of glass eye creek wild meat sauce to add some sweetness and delicious smoky flavour to the dish. Then finally, pour in some beef stock. Ensure you add enough to cover the meat. Set the cooker to your desired time frame. Obviously a pressure cooker is faster than a slow cooker, so make sure you plan accordingly and check the meat throughout the cook. Once your protein is tender and falling apart, remove the meat, trying to keep it as intact as possible. Cover with tin foil and set aside. Then get on to reducing your sauce. This is the perfect time to add any more seasonings it requires. Once the sauce is reduced to a nice thick consistency, Boil some pappardelle pasta in salted water until cooked. Drain the water from your pot, add some olive oil and rough chopped flat parsley and now you can put it all together. Looks fantastic Karen. and we've got three tough critics along. Quite eager to know exactly what this dish is, I've kept them in secrecy. What are we looking at? Well, it's definitely not the usual protein we'd eat, but um, it's here. Yeah, shot right there, actually. Oh, <laughs> Old wow. Harold, the humble air. That's the one. Fantastic. Enjoy, you guys. Thanks. Thank Stay you. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Thank you. That's exquisite. Mm, it's delicious. That could easily be like a venison shank. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only. It's beautiful. Low and slow, or? Fast and quick with the pressure cooker. Okay. <laughs> Just like the hair. Mm. This one was pretty slow if I was able to shoot it, that's for sure. <laughs> pretty darn good dish, I'd say, Kieran. Thank you. And uh, why did we do all those miles in the hills, lose all that sweat just to shoot something in the back paddock for a fee? Makes it taste that much better, hey? <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. So the unluckiest hunter I know. <laughs> I'm sure you say that.